I'm an associate professor in anthropology of migration at the University of Oxford. I'm currently in Riga, Latvia, because I'm doing research within the framework of a European Research Council funded project called Emptiness, Living Capitalism and Democracy After Post-Socialism. And the project focuses on the emptying towns and villages in Latvia, but also in other places in Eastern Europe, such as Russia, Belarus and Ukraine. I was invited to talk about a really complicated topic of the pandemic and society. Um, and I have been very much struggling, uh, figuring out what to focus on, changing my mind daily. And then I actually realized that this is a symptom of the situation in which we find ourselves, which is that uh, we are trying to make sense of a situation that is unfolding in real time. And as social scientists, human, humanities scholars, we really do need critical distance uh, to be able to kind of see the contours of the unfolding situation, especially if we think of the pandemic as not only an epidemiological event, but really a biosocial one that entails social relations, politics, decision-making, long-term effects. So the one point that I'd like to make is that um, is to, to really think about what it means to produce knowledge and to take decisions in a situation that's unfolding in real time and the limits of our ability to know it thoroughly. Within that I also focus on, I have been observing people's practices of mobility, uh, how people move, uh, of course also how movement is restricted and what that tells us about the role of the nation state in all of this uh, situation. But uh, I'm particularly interested in, in these kind of hopes and desires that attach to people's mobility practices. For example, excitement that migrants might be returning, Latvian, Moldovan, Ukrainian migrants might be returning to their places of, uh, uh, of residence and in, in their respective countries and that um, somehow this will constitute rebirth of these empty places or that people might be returning to the countryside and again that might be uh, a kind of a revival and of course indeed we have seen increased interest in real estate in the countryside but we cannot yet tell how lasting these practices are uh, whether people perhaps are uh, mapping a transnational circuit uh, that they can move through if the situation requires, so rather than a return, perhaps people are ensuring themselves by making certain kind of mobility practices available to them. I'm very interested to see what comes out of an interdisciplinary conference. I think Riga Strategy University is an excellent place for thinking across disciplines, especially in the conditions when, as I mentioned earlier, that the pandemic is not just an epidem epidemiological event, but really a biosocial event that requires the collaboration between natural scientists, social scientists, historians, um, and this is, of course, an excellent uh, place to obtain such understanding.